This video will be an unboxing, setup, and first impressions of the Jabra 50R hearing aids. So, I just created a video for the hearing aids that I had previously, and these are, are very effective. Uh, these were 150 bucks, low end. Uh, I really liked them. You can check out that video if you want to see these. These are a tenth of the cost of these. So why did I jump up to these? Did I hate these? No, I didn't hate these. These are in-ear, and I didn't particularly care for in-ear. And a couple things that I wanted to make sure that I got on my next set is Bluetooth was a biggie and some kind of noise canceling. Although most most all of these do some type of noise canceling. So let me back this up so we can unbox it better. There we go. I'll unzoom. So let's dig into this box and see what we got. Oh, that's cards. Okay. So we actually have cards to show what to do. Welcome to Jabra Enhanced. Select 50R. Welcome to the family. Set up as a snap. Activate your hearing aids online. Scan the QR code. A better hearing starts today. Need help? It's got a 1-800 number to call. What to expect? Start wearing your hearing aids. Uh, with shorter bursts like two to three hours of time, you may notice difference in voices and subtle sounds like birds chirping outside. Give it time. Hearing aids aren't like glasses. They do take some time to adjust to. And again, call them if you have problems. Select the app. This does come with an app to control it through Bluetooth. Returns and warranty. Hopefully we don't need that. But there's information on returns and warranty. What's in the box? Got the little domes or earbuds. Ear measuring tool so you can set it up properly. Receiver tool, cleaning cloth, brush, wax guard kit, power up, and wall charger and cable. Charging tips. Plug the power adapter into an outlet. Connect the charging cable back to the charger. Place your hearing aids into the charging base. Left hearing aid goes into L. Right goes into R. The LED on the hearing aids will light up, indicating the charging has been initiated. While hearing your hearing aids are charging, the on-off light on the hearing aids will blink slowly. When fully charged, the light remains on or not blinking. Charging times, 10 minutes, gives you 3 hours of battery life. 3 hours will give you 30 hours of battery life. Alright. So let's get started with the mobile app. How to pair with your iOS device. How to pair with your Android device. I'm an Android guy. Sorry, sorry about that. No, I'm not. So let's download the Jabra Enhanced Select app from Google Play. And I believe it said it had a QR code to go there. There we go. Now let's activate it. To get started, you must activate your hearing aids. Scan the QR code with your smartphone or camera and visit or visit Enhance Activate. Okay, pull this back. Go to my Google Play Store and look for the Jabra Enhanced app. Enhance Pro. Is that it? Jabra Enhance Select app. So that's probably not it. Jabra Enhance Select. There it is. So make sure you grab the right one. And while this is installing, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this does come with some online audiologist help. So you're not just left out there in the in the cold with this, so to speak. Go ahead and open it. I know I've got to do this part first. Next. Full control and good go. Sound quality. Dedicated support. There we go. That's what I was just speaking to. If you have any questions, contact with our customer support team right from the app. Seven days a week. Help when you need it. Okay, I need to create an account. And you're not going to get to see that. Oh, i got to do this first probably. All right, so we'll go ahead and go back to here and let's go ahead and do that. So we activate it. And then I hit activate hearing aids, confirm it, use recommended, 
Okay, now I'll download the app. Oh, wow. Meet your licensed hearing specialist who will program your hearing aids to your unique hearing ability. So, let me... Okay, so there's a hearing test to take here. Okay, so next I'm going to grab the headphones like it says to here. Plug them in. And, oh. So I'll plug in my headphones and it'll remind you if you're wearing hearing aids to take them off. Continue to sound check. Set your device to its maximum volume. Okay, so let's practice. Start at number one. Okay, don't left ear, moving on. Wow. Okay, sorry the heater just kicked on, but I'm going to keep on going. We need to find access to Bluetooth, enable Bluetooth, allow, allow notifications. Okay, so it's telling me to place them in here, which I never got them out. Okay, well I need to, I guess, continue to unbox here. Let's see what we got. Those. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Got multiple sizes of those. The ear plugs. Toolkits. that what that is I'm sure it's important though okay there's the charging box and of course the USB cable and everything Okay, next I'll plug this in. Well, here's the headphones I used to test with. Man, I could use a power bank up here. Why do I not have one yet? I don't know. So, all right, so, got them plugged in. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're blinking right now. Blinking or solid green? Oh, solid green was charged, right? I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes just to make sure I got a little bit of a charge on here. Okay, so I've charged the uh, earbuds up, and let's see if I can get them to connect now. Take them out, continue.
There we go. Pair. Just says pair, not pair and connect. Okay, so it's found them. I had issues previously of getting these to find it, and I just went in and got it charged. About a 15 minute charge, and it seems to be working now. Place them in the charging case. Okay. Okay, good, continue, I take them out, Red. there's blue, continue, I am doing this right by my Wi-Fi which is probably causing me some issues, put them on, Check, check, testing. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. But, let's see. I'm going to turn that up. Save. Okay, I didn't see how to use this at all. Um, so I guess the next thing will be just me playing around with this a little bit and then I'll come back to the recording. Okay, so after having these on uh, for an hour or so, I received a notification in an email that I have some new settings from the online hearing test that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and download those or upload them however you want to look at it so to do that you go into settings and then install new settings and I, I still have them on they're in my ears right now <laughs> So now it is installing the new settings. Okay, I hear dinging going on in the hearing aids. I'm assuming that's telling me that it's done. Stay on the screen, don't leave the app, keep your hearing aids within you. Oh yeah, it's definitely different. It's like boom, instant. <laughs> wow. Okay, so installation is complete. Try out your new settings for a few days to give yourself time to adjust. So, done. Um, I definitely can tell it boosts the treble, which that's where my hearing loss is at. If you remember when I went through there, um, I have significant hearing loss from 3000 up. So, uh... So far, I like them. I'm going I'm, I'm not going to end the video just yet because I want to get a little experience with these first and then uh, give you an honest, good review of it and possibly maybe some tips on what to do here. Okay, so a few days have passed and I've been using these guys. Uh, initially, when I put them in, they had the smaller... Uh, earpieces in them and that actually kind of hurt my ear uh, didn't fit well kind of hurt Then I said hey there's more in here let's try some other ones put a larger one in there it fit tighter it felt much better it does take some getting used to again these are not like glasses you can't just put them on and go wow this is awesome I can see again well you can put these on and you can hear again but you've got to get used to hearing again uh, I was in a store the other day, and they were playing some 80s music, which, you know, is the best music of all time. Okay, I went to school in the 80s, so best music for me of all time. 
and I could hear treble again. I was like, wow, I forgot how much I missed hearing treble with, with music. However, the flip side of that is now with these, depending on what the setting is, and there's many settings, you might get a lot of uh, uh, wind noise, background noise like that. If you're in a restaurant, if you don't have it set correctly, you can hear you know the clanking of the dishes that normally I couldn't really hear, or at least I wouldn't notice that. So anyway, these things are great. I really like them. They're literally ten times more than the other set that I had. I think they're worth it. Oh, and by the way, these you can purchase these on HSA. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video. But these you can use your HSA account. I don't recall if the other ones were HSA or not. They're cheap enough that it didn't matter a whole lot because they were 100, 150 bucks, somewhere in that range. So anyway, um, that's kind of my first impressions of, of using these and a quick how to, how to get them up and running. I have not yet had my appointment with the audiologist. That is a couple of weeks out from when I purchased these so I've got yet another week or so I might do an update to the video wait a minute yes I have had my appointment with the audiologist and wow what a terrific customer experience that was uh, that's something that seems to be lacking these days but anyway uh, I met with her the call was 30 minutes to an hour anyway um, she showed me how to use the well, she didn't show me. I used the ear measuring device and she looked at it through the camera and determined that I probably need a little longer cable on my hearing aid. And it's ordered. It's on its way. And also the sport lock. She mentioned that might be something handy to have, uh, like when you're out jogging or whatever. So she also sent that to me. Uh, neither one of those had an additional charge. Those were both uh, free of charge. It was a fantastic experience. I, I, I can't, ex I cannot stress that enough. So anyway, I, I like them. It takes a little bit of getting used to something stuck in your ear. That's not incredibly fun, <laughs> but, uh, hearing children play, hearing the birds sing, hearing the treble on your favorite eighties music or seventies or sixties or nineties or two thousands, Sure makes a, a big difference. So, thank you for watching. Oh, and also there will be, of course, a link down there in the description to this set of hearing aids if you're interested. And there will be a link to the other set. Uh, the Bluetooth music is not going to be the same as headphones or earbuds strictly for music. You can hear it, but it's not that great. But the cool thing is uh, you can have it in and be playing some music while you're walking around doing stuff. Uh, and no, that's not what I heard in the store when I heard Better Travel. It was actually music being played by the store. If you can't hear well, do something. Because you're missing out on a lot of stuff. And I missed out on a lot of stuff throughout the years because I just didn't want to take the dive into this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.